What's going on, fantasy owners? Welcome back to another episode of the Eye Test. I'm here with co-host Paul Orlando, and today we're going to grade the David Montgomery acquisition by the Lions, along with someone else who's been a little bit of a disappointment. We're going to grade both of those players, so stay tuned to see who that surprise player is. But first, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Paul, do you like David Montgomery on the Lions or the Bears? I don't like David Montgomery anywhere, to be <laughs> very honest with you. And, and again, my little personal bias might be coming in here. I did trade I did trade for David Montgomery his rookie year. I traded Dalvin Cook for David Montgomery and Amari Cooper, which at the time thought I was the smartest guy in the room. Turns out I was the dumbest guy in the room. So – I'm a little iffy on Montgomery. I think that he – I know he was a third-round pick, so he didn't really have that much hype, but he was still hyped. And he didn't – he just didn't do it for me. And now he comes to Detroit, and what Detroit is basically saying is we're going to be doing a running back by committee. We're going to be sharing the ball. We have two great – one at least great wide receiver, one receiver who we think has all the potential in the world to be great, which is why we drafted him at – number six in last year's draft, even though he was hurt in Jamison Williams. So I just, from a fantasy perspective, it just doesn't make sense to me. I am really only big on Amon Ra, St. Brown and Jamison Williams now in fantasy. I don't, I'm not saying that the Detroit Lions offense is not going to be fun again this year, but from a fantasy perspective, Montgomery's going to be maybe my RB4 on my team. Like, that's where I kind of feel comfortable having him. He's on, I don't know. I don't know. What so do you think? Like a C? I'm giving it like a C minus. Oh, okay. I disagree. I think that it's a, a good landing spot for Monco because now that they don't have Jamal Williams anymore, you're putting – David Montgomery in a possible workhorse role, which he's proven his whole career that he can do. Since his rookie season, he's played 16 games, 15 games, 13 and 16. So he's playing the majority of games. He's staying healthy while he is the workhorse running back for four years, really. I mean, Khalil Herbert started to dip into his snaps maybe two years ago, definitely last year. So I think that it's a better team for David Montgomery to go on also because the Lions are going to be getting to the red zone much more often than the Bears were. So he's going to have a lot more attempts in that red zone. And let's not forget that DeAndre Swift was not getting those red zone carries last year. They were giving it to Jamal Williams. So what I'm thinking is that Montgomery is going to be taking over the Jamal Williams role, which I, I like more. I don't see Jamal Williams getting 17 touchdowns again next year. So they're they're getting a younger workhorse running back in David Montgomery. And I think that he will outperform his stats than last year. I mean, he's got to beat five touchdowns and 800 yards. I can see him probably getting the same amount of yards, maybe a little bit, you know, give or take a few. But touchdowns, I totally see him getting a lot of goal line opportunities, especially if this other frustrating running back on the Lions named DeAndre Swift decides to get hurt again. So how does this trade or uh, pick up by the Lions for David Montgomery, how does that affect DeAndre Swift? So I think it certainly affects him. I mean, you'd be just ignorant to the fact if you think that they brought in a 25-year-old former starting running back from the Bears into this offense without them at least having a mindset of what his contributions are going to be. Now, I will say this, though. From the eye test standpoint, I think DeAndre Swift's talent is far superior to David Montgomery. I think Swift is an absolute elite threat out of the backfield catching the ball. And when he gets his hands on the rock running-wise, if you give him space, he's going to make people miss. The biggest thing on Swift is the injury history. He just can't seem to shake all these lingering issues. And I am I might be going against the grain here, but... I think that DeAndre Swift, if he stays healthy, he has a better year this year than David Montgomery. I think they will look for him to still be the featured back, but this is what they are saying to him. They are saying, this is your last straw. If you do not stay healthy this year, we are just done with you. Mm -hmm. We brought in this guy as probably the best plan B 
in the running back rooms, I think, in the league. I mean, you could argue the Ravens with J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. They might be a better one-two tandem. But I think this is like the, – the Lions are just looking at Swift and being like, listen, man, we love you. You're very athletic. You're very fun to watch. You pass the eye test left and right, but you can't stay on the field for us. So that's why we're bringing in Montgomery. So if Swift, you know, gets hurt again, does his usual antics, I think Montgomery will have a fine year. But – I still think that Swift's talent is just, it's so hard, so hard for me to, to bet against. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I think last year was just a little bit of like just a weird year for Swift because he did only miss like three or four games. Yeah. He missed three games. He started off pretty decent the first two weeks and then fell off because of his injury his first game back from his injury, he got 14 points, but he was continuing to get touchdowns vultured from him. So that's my biggest fear is that he's not featured in the red zone enough. But one thing that I am comfortable saying and confident in saying is that the Lions will continue to use Swift as that receiving running back. He had like 50 catches last year, three receiving touchdowns, was targeted like 70 times. Montgomery is not that. He's not a receiving threat. So I'm comfortable in Swift being the receiving back, which is great for PPR leagues. It is mainly that concern of those lingering ish injuries that he deals with in like the middle of the season. But what was nice to see is after he had that beginning of the year injury, he did not miss any games after that. And he ended the season on a pretty, pretty nice run. I mean, from the buy on, which was a pretty early buy, you saw a good amount of double digit games and two 20-plus point games, the highest being 27 points against Chicago. So I am probably going to say that Swift's value stays the same for now. I don't know if he'll outperform last year, this year, but we'll see. What I really like, though, is Montgomery going to the Lions. I'm going to give Montgomery probably a B plus. I'm giving him a C. C, okay. Just because I don't think people – the average person is going to look at this David Montgomery signing and be like, oh, they signed him to be the Jamal Williams of last year. He's going to get 16, 17 touchdowns again. No, he's not. He is not going to get that many touchdowns. So be a little bit weary. Be cautious. I still personally, in a PPR format, am taking DeAndre Swift over David Montgomery 10 times out of 10. It is without question. But it should be interesting in standard Standard leagues, what's going to happen? When do you see Swift going in a PPR redraft league? Because last year he went, I believe, first round, second he, round. He did. He was, he was, some people reached in the late first, but he was second round. I think he's going to be more of a fourth or fifth guy. I think he is going to kind of be that last option before what we call the running back dead zone. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. All right. Well, Tomorrow, we're going to be going over Juju Smith-Schuster to the Patriots and what we grade that. So if you like this video, go ahead and press that thumbs up button. You can subscribe to our channel. That supports us. It shows us that you guys like this show and the content we're pumping out. That way, we can keep pumping out material like this. Go ahead and comment what you think the David Montgomery pickup from the Lions is is going to affect his fantasy value and how it's going to affect Swift's. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow on Juju to the Patriots. Peace out, Paul. Peace out, John.